As the garden grows, it needs more support. That's our goal for today. Just got back from a week vacation. Lots of work to do. Uh, some things that did not get done before our break definitely have to be done now. And the number one thing that I have to do today is I have to build a trellis for my winter squash. Here you can see they're growing. I planted them uh, seed direct sow. Um, gosh, I guess it's been about two weeks now. Um, and they're coming up well. This row is butternut squash. This row is spaghetti squash. And you can already see that the spaghetti squash is starting to put out tendrils so we can find something that it can climb. According to the seed pack, these are a bush variety. I'm not sure what that means. We'll find out. Nevertheless, I don't have space in this garden for these things to just sprawl out as vines. Although, because these peppers never worked out, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there, and my lettuce is getting ready to, uh, well, it's already bolted, so I'm getting ready to finish up with that. I could probably let some vines grow in this direction, but I want to save some space here um, for some winter green, um, for some greens this fall, and possibly have that ready. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to build one, and we're not going to be doing it the quickest way, probably not the most efficient way. We are, however, going to do it the most inexpensive way. Well, the most inexpensive way was to use something that you already have. Didn't have anything for that. Here's our plan. Let's go see what we've got. I have, I have these six one by twos. Yes, I know they are not treated. They're not going to last long. I'm not looking for permanent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen the end of these, going to cut a point on the end so I can drive them into the ground. I'm going to drill holes all along these, evenly spaced on all three, so I can run twine through them and create a, tra a trellis. That's hard to say if you're speaking too fast. So I can create a trellis with the twine, I'm going to weave it in and out um, so the squash can climb that. Not the quickest way. The quickest way would, and best way would be something that'd be a little bit more permanent. I'm not looking for permanent. This is definitely the least expensive way. The good news is it looks like it's gonna be a fairly cloudy day and it's not gonna to get too hot while I do this. Hopefully I can get it knocked out in a couple of hours. So let's stop talking about it and let's get it done. stakes cut got their points i've got evenly spaced holes in each set of three so that all the lines will be at the same level all i've got to do now is put it in the ground and weave my jute through there i say all i have to do that's going to take quite a while and it's quite muggy even though it's kind of cloudy keeping the sun down a little bit it's uh it's muggy it's north carolina so let's now move on to getting the actual trellis built now that we have all the pieces cut and the holes drilled like we need them to be.
Well, the posts are in the ground and it's gonna have to do, they're not straight. Again, I chose the least expensive option available to me. So some things are kind of wonky. I had to put that middle post in three times so I got it at a nice place because of its curvature, etc. This first set, a little bit better, even though we got some leaning. Hopefully once these things trellis up, the weight won't be an issue. Uh, all that's left now is to string the twine. Okay, I got it finished, and I noticed a continuity error because the last clip you saw didn't have the hat on. Camera died as I was finishing the weaving. That's not part of the time lapse. It's okay. You can put it on IMDB as an interesting trivia. The weave is done. I'm mostly pleased with it. The posts aren't straight like I wanted them to, as straight as I wanted them to be, but it's going to support the squash I've got them now starting to train to climb up it and as everything else that I've ever done all these other projects it's taken way longer than I anticipated I'm going to wrap things up I'm going to clean up the tools put them away go and kill some Japanese beetles I don't know what I'm gonna do about those uh, gotta find a solution because they're eating my beans up of course my beans aren't sprouting any beans so somebody should get something out of it i guess anywho thanks for joining in do me a favor if you like this video would you go down and give it a thumbs up maybe even share it with someone who might enjoy watching this process as well uh, if you want to keep up with my efforts to turn this place into a suburban homestead don't forget to subscribe if you're not already most importantly remember that the one who created you made you able to create also so get out there and make it grow it and live it see you next time